Hi, Gemini Seeker. That sound weird? Why am I feeling weird? Cards are up. Cards were in reverse. Okay. Okay. I'm weird. The cards are weird. Are you weird? Who's weird? I'm going to call this video weird. One second. Three of Swords. Please don't leave this video right in less than a minute. We're going to get this. Gemini. I got you. We're going to figure this out. The cards want to fall down. Someone wants to talk, to express, to figure things out. And it's coming from pain. And from disappointment. Sense of failure. And or betrayal. Could be by you. Could be by someone else towards you. We don't know yet, right? We don't know at all. Energies can, you know, can either be you or someone relevant. Justice, yes, okay. The sword is lifted and then the verdict is being given. I don't know which side are you on, Gemini, but the truth will speak whether we like it or not. And maybe we have experienced a heartache or a sense of betrayal and we're cutting something out or we're trying to balance the pain, trying to reason with it, trying to understand it. And that's our way of coping. This is the, like, justice has been coming out, Libra season. The robe is red, the heart is red. Here the swords are inside the red heart. Here the sword is being held by the red heart outfit, whatever. Symbolic. The sword started within us and now we are holding them. We are taking our pain and using it to bring either judgment or justice or express our truth. I have been hurt and this is what I have to say about this. I speak now. I don't hold my peace. Is it good for us? Is it bad for us? We'll find out. Eight of Swords. Mm, no. Okay. So. This could be relevant to you. This could be relevant to someone you're dealing with. But what I'm seeing here is someone. Um that has been given a verdict, a justice. The justice is true because it's in the upright. It's not in the reverse. This is the card of truth and things being put right. Okay. Um, but surrounded, it is surrounded with three of swords and eight of swords. We don't like it. So maybe we've done something wrong or someone has done something wrong and now the truth is, you know, uh, there, there are um, results. We are free to make our choices. We are not free of our choices, consequences. Right? We have free choice. We can do what we want to do. We can say what we want to say. We are not free of the consequences. If someone has done something because they wanted to or felt like it or whatnot, even if they were pushed towards it, doesn't matter the reason or the excuse. What matters is now... There needs to be, you know, things need to be set right. And you're not comfortable with it. Someone is being uncomfortable with it. I don't like this combination. This in rare situations, of course, these are general readings, um, but someone might be either imprisoned or held by the law in a way. Um, it feels unjust to the person who is uh, being given this verdict. Um, but it is just. The, oh, this is not fair kind of thing is subjective. But it seems like in the objective reality, it is fair. So, Gemini. 
if there's still a way to change or get out of it, make sure you are really good at two shoes if it's relevant to you. Um, do everything by the book. Everything perfectly by the book. No playing games. Um, no trying to go around things. There is no going around things. This is only going into things. Um, it's not something you can hide. I say you, 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 this could be someone that you're dealing with or someone else. I just, I can't keep saying you or them. Or, so, you know, take, take it as it resonates, okay? Let's keep going though. Let's, let's clarify what is going on here. Okay. Too many cards fell down on one side and only one card fell on the other side. I'll take that. King of Swords, looking towards the Eight of Swords. There's an Eight of Swords in between King of Swords and Justice. Yeah, truth is coming out and someone is being really, really judged or, um, you know, they have to um, be held accountable for something. Libra is really strong in this reading. Um, the essence of Libra, truth and justice and balance. Um, that are spoken and expressed, whether by word or and or by um, writing, um, and and there is an execution of the justice ver the, the verdict. It could be legal matters, of course, very much so, but it can also be you know personal matters. Um, maybe someone is being called out on something like either a betrayal. Um, it doesn't have to be um, a romantic betrayal, a.k.a. cheating. It could very well be, you know, someone backstabbed you or lied to you or betrayed you and or the other or the or vice versa. And now they're being called on it. So truth is about to be spoken if it hasn't already. Maybe this is just what you're going through right now or have been going through recently. Okay. Three of Wands. I'm liking this better. Four of Wands in the reverse and the Death card. Oof. Gemini, I feel like this is going to be a talk. There is going to be an attempt to, um, to, to talk out. Someone is going to try to talk themselves out of the situation, um, of showing their case. Um, why it made sense to them or why it made sense in general or the reason behind it but the verdict is final and there is no progress in the thing that is now um, exposed or discussed and someone is done with someone <laughs> completely like and there's like no going back um, I have the four of wands in the reverse this could be a partnership gone really bad, someone discovering that the other person was either cheating or lying. This could also be something that has to do with fraud, okay? This may be uh, a, a partner or a spouse or someone close to you really deceived you um, or you have been deceiving them. Someone who has been deceiving someone, lying about their situation, hiding uh, the truth. Um, and now the person that is discovering or having to come to terms with it um, is really cutting the other person out. Well, there are like literally no questions asked. If there was an engagement, it's being canceled. Um, if there was a little sort of an attempt, if there's going to be a little bit of sort of an attempt to reconcile or anything, it's going to be also, you know, then then the energy will come in and, and, be like, and cut it out. Uh, here, look at what I'm seeing. Right, so... There's all of this, high truth, non-pleasant truth. Maybe we can sort it out. Maybe we can talk about it. Maybe there, we can take a new direction. Um, if the other in individual is leaning towards it, then energies be like, nope, nope, nope. Something will happen and it will be really done. Um, there is no progress in whatever this is. it is done okay now let's assume you're taking my advice and you're really moving on like really done with it accepting 
um, changing direction. What is the most benevolent result or progress from the situation onward for Gemini for the month of October? Now, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever resonates with you. Guys, look at your other um, um, placements in your chart for a broader picture. I also really recommend to go back to your September readings, to your past month's readings, um, and that way you can really learn from the energies from a perspective that has already went through uh, and then connected to the advice, what was done, what can be done, what could have been done differently, and so on. And this is a learning journey, not just knowing what tomorrow brings, right? Okay, good, 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 good. Ace of Pentacles. So if we are to listen and not fight it, trying to fix it, whatnot, and let go, it will get worse and worse the more you'll try um, to control, hold on, talk, talk, someone trying to talk their way out of something. No, admit, let go. Accept whatever consequences were. That's the only way you can move on from this, if, by accepting the consequences, most especially if it's a result of something that you have potentially done. Um, and be like, okay, I, I, I did this, this is what it is now. I can't fight it, I can't talk my way out of it. Um, if someone did this to you, they will get theirs, you know, but you need to, okay, they got what they needed to get, now move on with your life, right? Ace of Pentacles, a new start, a new beginning that is more stable, more grounded, more truthful. Could be some of you um, have been going through a legal matter and now you're winning, okay? Some, the, what things are being set right and whoever wins wins um, maybe a settlement um you know or a property someone might be losing a property and someone might be earning a property so if this is really a legal case maybe a divorce or a lawsuit whatever um the bad guys were gonna have to pay <laughs> sorry for sounding so dramatic and black and white but it's the best way to um you know explain the situation okay Let's keep going. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's good. This is very much in reverse. Mm. Knight of Rods in the reverse. Okay. <sighs> Gemini, who are you dealing with? Someone really 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 um unreliable um deceitful really selfish really 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 um they will just say and do whatever they need to do to get what they want in the moment with no regards to consequences and if was, if this is the same person um that just refuses to get it i mean they refuse to get that you know what they did comes with consequences and to pay the price or to move on they, they they hold on to it from ego and they're like no this is mine even though it's not um if this is you gemini abort let go if someone is doing it to you i'm sorry let's see what we can do about this about this knight of rod knight of ones in reverse someone is really trying to hold to their uh, opinion that they're right it comes from ego Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups. Good. Okay. Maintain focus. You will see the end of it. You will come up uh, with the upper hand, literally. Look at this. Okay. Um, things will be put right. And who's ever playing, meddling with your life, um, they're not going to succeed. You got this. Okay. Again, vice versa, Gemini. You're doing this. I'm telling you. Let go. I love you. You know, I love you. I just, I don't know who's watching. I don't know your narrative. I don't know if you're doing this or someone is doing it to you. So I have to express both options, right? 
but you do have a support system. You do have a support system. Maybe your family, maybe a partner, um, sticking together, encouraging, you know, keeping the faith kind of thing. Good. Not easy, but ultimately good. I want to see further. I want to see more. My amazing Geminis for the month of October. If this doesn't resonate, it's too many cards. If this doesn't resonate with you guys, I will show you your extended really soon. And in the extended, I have a, a new narrative from the cards that are already on the table. And then I also do a complete new narrative of um, with the Kel using a Celtic cross reading. Um, 10 cards on the table. And then I also give messages from the room. So if this resonates with you, you, you have a very strong potential to get more details in the uh, extended. And if this doesn't, you have another very strong potential to get something completely different for you. Um, so stay tuned. Also, I will be finishing this reading after I show you your extended with the Akashic Tarot Oracle. Uh, they are just majestic. Okay. Did I tell you I have a live Q&A on October 10th? <laughs> it's the 10th month of the year, October. Also, it's the 10th month of me doing tarot. Um, and on October 10th, I'll be doing my first live Q&A where you can come and ask and chat with me and ask me questions. And I'm super excited and looking forward. I don't know which time exactly. I will pin it in the comments of all the videos once I know. So by the 9th, I will know for sure the, the hour. Okay, Gemini, October. Eight of Cups. Yes, you're leaving something behind, something, this is going to be done. Okay, you're gonna move on with your life, victorious or defeated, doesn't matter. You're gonna be like, enough. You're gonna have to let go um, and trust that what is right will be, will happen, okay? If you lost something, know that it was, it was the truth. If you won something, know that it was the truth. Either way, accept it and move on. Try to let go of any resentments. It's not healthy. Focus on what you have good in your life, that, which you do. A lot of support, family, love, whatever it is in your life that you, um, you know, um, that helps you breathe <laughs> through situations. You know, this could be battles be a battle between siblings about an inheritance, for example. Cups. Okay, focus on love, Gemini. All of this needs to be folded out of your life throughout October, and you have a really great relationship, a partnership in your life. Um, it felt like this, and it's going to be very benevolent for you. And really focus, put your energy on that, on what is worthy and makes you happy. Okay. And some of you are leaving a family situation where you had a lot of quarrels and arguments and maybe even legal stuff um, to start anew with someone that makes you feel happy and brings new energy into your life. It's also a possibility. Um, let's conclude before we go into our extended and the oracles. Page of Rods. Okay, so... We had the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Now we have the Page of Wands and it's upright, which is better. Someone is maturing. You know, they, 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 they realize, okay? They maybe try and want to start taking responsibility. It's still a page. It's still young. It's still an initiate, initial energy, but it's going in the right direction. I feel like another card wants to speak because it's... Also by December, brand new energy, because this is Sagittarius, December. The Hermit, the World Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I like this, good. Yes. 
something needed to be handled and to be dealt. Maybe an immature uh, individual in your family that is being put in their place, either potentially by a more mature person in the family, an older person, a parent, a grandparent, an uncle, could be a female as well. Um, but once they're being put set right and they're going through, they're starting to go through a, a maturity level journey, this could be you, Gemini. Okay. Um, then you're able to really put this behind you and focus on your success. That is massive. There's money, there's success, there's uh, fulfillment. Some of you work internationally and make money. Money comes from abroad or from a new horizons. This combination could be new horizons, adventures, traveling, um, you know, communication with different um, people from all over the world. You're really stepping out of something very gunky and gooey to a whole new horizon kind of a world. But yeah, you needed to go through, finish that, okay? You really needed to finish and close this circle. So the cycle needs to end. Uh, truth needs to be told. People need to be set in their place. And then you can really, really succeed. Um, Maybe on your own, maybe you're like, okay, some of you are really focusing on a new relationship. Some of you are like, no, I want to be independent. I want to be alone. I want to succeed. I want to find myself. I want to express myself. And that's totally okay. Totally legit. Two nines, one of which is the hermit. It's a very uh, independent, solitary type of um, energy, especially with the world that, you know, the world is, it's everything, you know, it's together and it's without and it's all good. Um, okay. I like this. All right, let's look at your extended, okay? So, hi, I'm going to fix the table and I'm going to show you how the table is going to look like. Um, so, three, two threes, I have three of swords and three of wands. And, let's see, two nines, that will be the hermit and the nine of wands sorry my computer is like now it wants to tell me all kinds of things okay um and we have the justice the world and the death card um and sorry this is the, again if you know me this is the part where i speak to myself um, interesting. Let's, you know, I want you to see something. I don't know if it will work out, but let's see. Because I don't have repeating numbers here, but what I do have is something different. So let's do one, two, three, three, four. I don't have a five, but I have a. Seven, two, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that works. Okay, so one, two, three, three, four, and then we jump. So, what I do in the extended, I address the um. The numerological aspect of the reading and I make a new narrative I read a new narrative or an added narrative so this is what we're going to see in the first part of the extended okay and this is what we're going to see sorry this is also the major and then right after that, I'm going to clean the table, make a new shuffle, have a Celtic cross, which is a completely different reading, and then a message from the room. Okay, so now you can take a look at this. This is what we're going to read in the extended uh, as a first part. Now, let's finish up with messages from the Akashic Tarot. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me and following my channel and supporting me and commenting and liking. I so very much appreciate it. Oh, I'm, oh I know I forgot something. I'm doing a special private reading 
uh, thing for the month of October where you get special prices and special options for private sessions. All the information is, uh, is in the information box below. Over there, you can also find a link to the Tarot Masterclass. I teach Tarot. Um, and of course, link to this, to your extended. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because that will be a wonderful way A, to support me and B, to get more videos and to know when your video is, upload, is up. Uh, so yeah, that's about that. Okay, Dear Akashic Records, I'm asking for a message for Gemini for the month of October. Gemini Seeker. October. Please show me clear guidance for Gemini. October. Happy Halloween, by the way. I'm considering dressing up for November readings. We'll see. Okay. Good. Right on. It's one of my favorite. Look how pretty it is, by the way. So, will wisdom and mind the holy trinity this is a celtic symbol it's reaching balance between all these three will wisdom and mind uh, allegedly all of the brain but they're very very different there's balance between the different types of um um cognitive behavior inner cognitive behavior and reaching balance and that is very difficult okay let's read let's read will wisdom and mind a gold crown of power and authority rests above a celtic trinity knot on either side of the celtic knot are the alchemical symbols for fire and water below is the ancient three-legged symbol of the coat of arms from the isle of man this card brings with it a time of enormous power, balance, and expression. The first three rays, or the energies of the divine, move within you equally, power and will, love and wisdom, and intellect or mind. You are working intimately, even if you're not conscious of it, with the ascended masters who are linked to these energies. With the participation of the masters, you can raise your focus to a higher power and purpose. You can combine the fire of creativity with the water of receptivity in order to make your contribution to the world. With the gold crown raised high, you're likely to find yourself in a significant position of authority and influence at this time. Maybe you're the person who's giving the verdict and the justice. Um, maybe you're a judge. Maybe you're, I don't know, something like that. Um... Sorry, I lost. Okay. It is likely to be a phase um, of great activity, but you can handle it. With these powers in play, you're able to discipline yourself to bring together the meditation, creativity, rest, and action required. Take advantage of this time and use these powers well. They are nothing less than the divine forces moving through you so that you can manifest their power in the world. Also, I find it interesting that it's water and fire because normally it's very alchemical because normally water turns fire off, right? It's very much like the, the sheep with the wolf. Um, it's, it's, it's alchemy. It's balance between matters that normally wouldn't find balance or we wouldn't expect them to be in balance. But here we are making it happen, making magic happen. Good, Gemini. If this resonates to you, I'm very proud of you. Um, okay, guys. Um, I will see you in a second in the extended. I will see you regardless in November. Thank you for your subscri subscriptions. Thank you for your support. I will see you in October 10th on the live Q&A. Um, watch your other placements in past month. Uh, love you dearly. See you soon.